one is for you guys. Did a very different story in the second half. It seemed like they kind of got out, they jumped on you guys, and then we went to the structure. You guys are shutting down. Can you talk about what changed for you defensively and, and why you guys had that success that you did late? Um, honestly, I mean, it's more of just a mentality. Uh, we came in here, we knew we made mistakes in the first half. We knew we didn't really start fast, uh, as fast as we wanted to. So we came in here, kind of regrouped, uh, kind of corrected some small, minor mistakes just so we had to finish. Uh, I mean, we came out, we, we, we did, a, did our best to finish. Talk about that regrouping. What was what was the mentality? What was the talk at halftime for you guys? Um, just talking about the big plays they gave up. We tried to stay calm and, like, you know, there's still a lot of game to play. Uh, it was just more just uh, calming everyone down, just saying, look, there's a lot of game to play. Just continue to do, uh, continue to do how play how we play. There were a couple times in the second half, I think in the fourth quarter, maybe third quarter, you guys were backed up against the uh, against the goal line. You forced them to set up the field. Just you talk about that and, and just being able to get off the field. Obviously, you don't want to score at all, but to be able to hold it to three in that situation, how important that was for you guys? Uh, I mean, in any defense, uh, like sudden changes, things that happen down there, I mean, the biggest thing is to hold them to as least points as possible. I mean, you ultimately you want to get stopped. But, I mean, just we went out as defense and said, look, I mean, this is on us. I mean, the offense was fumbled. I mean, we have to make a stop here if we want to be in this game. So, I mean, just – Kind of just the talk before the before the, uh, the drive just said, look, we got to have a stop. I mean, there's nothing. If we don't, then I mean, that could be the game. Yeah, they were able to run it inside. How much did having a couple of your top defensive linemen out versus their scheme feel easier? Um, it's hard to without to say without watching film. I mean, the defense that's a line thing. I mean, that's one thing. I mean, they tempoed us. So, I mean, they were moving fast. But uh, the biggest thing that I saw is just how they spread out. I mean, it was just. They kind of just knew where to hit. Where uh, I mean, once they, once they spread the uh, offense out, I mean, it was just I mean, we just had to execute just minor things. Like I said before, it's, it's hard to say without watching the film. But I mean, I, I found myself uh, it's a little guessing myself whether I should go out or in. So I mean, that's that's where I that's where I made my mistakes in this play. So I mean, but we just have to go watch the film, and get it corrected. It seems like there were times when they came to the line and they really adjusted. Their offensive line would actually change their split slide a little bit. Did you notice that? Did you do? Does it affect you? Um, I noticed it, uh, and it does in some situations. But I mean, they were kind of, I think they a couple of times they were kind of bluffing. They were just moving just to kind of see what we would do. Uh, so we, we kind of just stayed true to our game plan and just play uh, ran the uh, play those calls. Talk about the comeback and, and just how good it feels to be on the, the winning side of this, to, to have this win over tight, to win a tight game and overcome the, the early mistakes. Uh, I mean, it, it's a great team win for us, uh, especially away game. I mean, in the past two years, uh, I mean, I was here when we came down here two years ago, and I mean, that was one of the worst feelings ever. So, I mean, to come down here, I mean, it's a great atmosphere to get a win, come out with a win, I mean, it's a great feeling.